Growing up in Fremantle, fishing out of Coburn Sound was how I cut my teeth. I started my land-based fishing at Woodman Point, and when I got my first boat, I also started fishing out from Woodies. Even today, the fishing offshore of Frio is still first class. There's some fantastic GPS coordinates on the fishingwa.com website, and this is one of them, Sambo Reef. And I'm here with Nick today from Urban Angler. Nick, what sort of stuff are we going to get on this reef? Well, it could be anything today, Steve, but uh, I'd have to say that some Samson fish could be on the cards. Yeah, I've caught Skippy here, I've caught oh, Snapper and plenty of Samson fish. That's why I call it Sambo Reef. We're going to get some drift baits in the water and some burley. We'll show you how it's done. Now, I said we're drift fishing. That means just floating down a muley on a set of gangs. I've got four Kirby 5-0s, a little sinker, and that's an 80 pound 10X coated mono leader tied onto my main line with a double uni knot. Quite a long leader because there's all sorts of fish here. And on here, I'm going to put a muley. A lot of people ask me, how do you bait up a muley correctly? Follow me down here, I'll show you. The key to it is measurement. I measure my hooks to the muley. Start with one in the tail, sew it through the backbone like that. Sew another one, keeping it nice and straight. Sew another one, and the final one in the eye, or just in the head, gently through, and there you go. You've got a nice, straight, baited muley for beach fishing, ocean fishing, whatever you need. Okay, I said we were drift fishing, and what that means is, I've got my pen here in the rod holder with the ratchet on, and I'm just drifting the bait out the back, not anchoring it to the bottom, because we're burlying. And the fish will swim up the burly trail, and they'll find your bait and run off with it. So we leave it either in free spool or a little bit of drag pressure, but that's it. And that's where the lever drag is ideal, because when the fish comes in and hits, you go bang, hook up, you're on, we hope. Nick's doing what we call cubing up. He's putting burley in the water that are just pieces of muley. In a trail, fish are going to swim up it. Not just big fish, but little fish. So, have a look at this. I've just got a tiny little number two wide gap hook there. You Uvala, they're great. Little bean sinker, I've tied it to my main line, and that's just for any skippy or anything else that comes up. And I'll drift that down next to my big rod. Of course, the last thing you want is something big to actually grab this one. Hopefully that won't happen. Whoa, Nico! This is a good fish. He's, of course, the biggest fish of the day so far. It decides that it's going to come and have a go at the smallest bait. That's why you always have a little one down there. And I tell you what, have a listen to this. It's going. Oh, yeah. No head shakes. It's a good fish. Good fish on the light gear. Use the rod. See, I'm using the rod to wear the fish out. Woo! This is a reasonable old fish. What do you reckon, Nico? What is it? I don't know. It could be a decent sort of a skippy, I think. If it's a skippy, it's certainly fighting hard. Getting some line back. Bit of a loop of line there. <laughs> Bit of a heart attack. He's going out. It's got Sambo written all over it, doesn't it? It certainly does. Take my line alarm off now. You shouldn't fight fish with that line alarm on because it'll wear it out. But uh, just so you can hear at home what it's doing, I like to give you a listen. Now, I've got him up. I've probably got 30 metres to go here. The fact that it's coming up easy suggests to me it may not be a Samson fish, but. Fairly well beaten. You see anything down there, mate? Yeah, I've got some colour down there now, Steve. Have we? Thank goodness for that. Yeah, it's oh, a Sambo. It's a Samson fish. Wow. Samson fish on six kilo line. It's not an easy thing. It's not massive, but it's a pretty good fish. Hello. Look at that. That's a big bit of colour. Hello, Mr. Samson Fish. Well, I do call this Sambo Reef, and with good reason. That's not a bad effort on the old bait cast. <laughs> That's a bit of an early morning workout. 
and have a look if you don't mind. Keep him up, right, Nick? I'll give you a hand. Look at this. <laughs> That's the hook. Little hook drifting down for Skippy. You fight him gently. It's amazing what you can achieve with tiny gear. We'll get their hook out. We'll get him back in the water. There you have it. That's about a about an eight kilo Samson fish. Very hard fighting on the little bait caster, but we're not far off Perth. There's some great fish out here if you're prepared to put in the effort. We'll pop this one back. Here you go, mate. Pretty strong and active. Look at that. Down you go. Fantastic. After the break, we've got more spots to share with you, so don't go away. There's everything here. That was a great Sambo, but now they moved in. I'll show you another spot you can find on our website. Follow me. Well, this is it. We call this spot the windmills, and you can find it on our website as well. And I tell you what, the King George Whiting here are fantastic. We'll show you exactly how to do it. Fresh baits are the way to go to get big fish, and I always use a squid jig when I turn up to a weed bank in case there are any squid around. The windmills can usually be counted on for a couple of beauties. Ah, fresh squid. Um, hmm, now we have a problem. We'll just go um, under and over. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> One What's going on? Oh no, no, we're poor. Ooh, that was close. I'm pouring you at the boat then. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the herring coming after him. Oh my goodness me. No pandemonium here. Move along. Nothing to see here. Now, what are you going to do? Uh, bucket, please. This is my way of getting squid out of the water. You get the bucket, you hold the squid up, and you drop him in, and you point the bucket that way. And that way, if he goes, we don't have a new paint job. Now, this feels a little bit more like what we've come for, but. Or oh, could that bait finally be working? Yes, it is. It's a KG. Oh, nice work. That's a beauty, too. Have a look at that. So you can see the power in these things. When they do dive for the bottom in that manner, just let them go. It's only four kilo main line, so. Woohoo! As you can see, he's got quite a bit of power there. Did he go for that fresh squid? Yep, that's the fresh squid. See? Always have a squid jig out there. Look at that! Magic stuff. Is that a squid down there? Yeah, big squid trying to. Trying oh, to here we go. Keep well. him swimming. I'll get that squid. Pandemonium on board. Is that guy, don't they? We'll drop down and grab that. So you can bring him in now. I'll drop down and see if I can get that squid. One of these waves. There he is. Look at the squid. Look at that squid. There you go, squiddy. Come on. There he is. He's coming back. He sees the jig. He wants the jig. Here he comes. Just let it sit. Let it sit. He's got it. Got they got the weight. Oh, he's a beauty too. He's a beauty. Look at the ink going all over the place. That's a big squid, Nick. Have a look. I can see it, mate. Look at all the ink. Now, you can keep that away from my boat, actually, I reckon. <laughs> you can just about keep a whale away from my boat. Look at him changing colour on the way up. Now, if you let him do this, see I'm pointing the rod tip away from the boat. That way, the fishing WA boat doesn't get a nice new black paint job. So I knew you had one more left in you too. What do you reckon? You're done? Look at that size of him, mate. Uh, grab the bucket. We'll just pop him straight in. Take a line. There you go. In the bucket. Fantastic, hey? How's that? Big KG, big squid. Windmills are going off. Just eased into that one, and he's got some weight. He's got some weight. That's a reasonable fish. Have a look in the water at this. What do you reckon, Nikki? She's a 
You're not going to believe this, Steve. What's that? It's another flathead. <laughs> There's a few in this spot. There's everything here. In just this small area, you can see there's loads of different fish, and there's no reason you can't do this too. Our website can help you get started. Well, this great spot and the first time I caught that Samson fish, Nick, they're both on the Fishing WA website. Such a diversity of fish. Incredible to see at this time of the year, Steve, especially. Yeah, the flathead in winter in such shallow water. Go to fishingwa.com and check out these spots for yourself.